Shields are down. Shields are down. Giant. Oh, it's really cool. Oh. A couple of... oh, the prophet was on. <laughs> you show up and just. <laughs> you ran in swinging like a j. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, doing a slightly different segment today on just the hardware that I've been using, specifically um, SLI 970s and the DSR option that NVIDIA recently released uh, as a graphical option. <clears throat> Little background, first had SLI back with the uh, GTX 460s a few generations ago. Uh, had, a, had a couple issues. Um, wasn't very smooth, wasn't very uh, clean. It, if it worked well, it worked great, and then it would just not work. You'd get down to like 40 or 50 frames per second, and it felt like you were playing at 20. Um, I heard that was related to a situation called micro stutter, which is where, you know, it, it, we're technically displaying 50 frames, but two will be ready at the same time, um, and then uh, they'll, there was a delay. So although, yeah, the, the number is high of frames we're putting out, you're not actually seeing a great visual experience. Um, after that, was hesitant to get back into SLI, but um, recently, they, they, um, NVIDIA added this option called DSR. Now, if you haven't used DSR, it's, it's very cool. Dynamic scaling resolution. Um, it's sort of like super sampling. It, it's been around. Uh, I'll probably butcher that explanation, but it's been around in similar ways in um, driver profile settings where you could, you could force um, super high... And aliasing and uh, force resolution up and then down, down, down sample it back to 1080. It was a little complicated. Uh, you needed some some driver tools uh, like NVIDIA Inspector. Not a huge deal. It just wasn't really for me. Uh, it's a few extra steps. It it made it too much work to just play the game. Um, now it's right there in the NVIDIA profile, the control panel. You just set it. Uh, and it can be anything from 1.2 all the way up to four times your current resolution. What it does in a nutshell, um, it will render the image at whatever setting, say 4K, 4K resolution, like if you had a 4K TV, then downsamples that to 1080. During the downsampling, obviously, you're going to lose some of that visual fidelity. Um, it can affect the image, so they apply what I've heard is called a, a Gaussian blur effect. Um, may not be saying that correctly. That sort of, you know, smooths over. It's similar to post-processing and analyzing FXAA, SMAA, but uh, it's a different effect, and it's pretty cool. I think it looks great on top of those two different effects. Um, I love it so much that I've actually, now in games, even if I can't handle anything higher than just 1.2 times, which is essentially... A little bit above 1080p resolution. I'll I'll apply that just so I can get that Gaussian blur effect. Um, it's really cool. Adds a lot of uh, a nice like artistic blur, in my opinion, to the whole image, making it it feel a little bit more natural. So <laughs> they announced this effect, this uh, setting. And it is really awesome. I really enjoy it. It's really tough to go back on to use it. Unfortunately, games these days are very intense. Uh, running a game at 3K, at 4K, is, uh, is is very strenuous on your graphical hardware. It's, just, it's strenuous to run it at 1080p. So, recently upgraded from... Uh, I had a GTX 670. Loved it. It was amazing. Ran everything on Ultra and then still does. Just not quite at uh, the 60 frames per second that it, it used to be able to run everything at. Um, only 2 gigabytes of VRAM on that 670, so, you know, more and more games are pushing pushing uh, VRAM limitations. Um, so I bought the 970, amazing card. It's It really pushes everything. There, there was all that, uh, there's a lot of issues that came out, legal issues about the, the 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM versus 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Uh, I encourage you to look that up. It's it's an interesting issue. Um, long story short, I I looked into it. I did testing on my own. I read others others findings. Decided it wasn't worth it to get rid of the card. It's a great card. The GTX 970 is really capable of 
of a lot, and it overclocks like a dream. I had my my first one running at a 1500 megahertz, not even not even trying to overclock really all that that hard. Um, it might have been able to go further. I'm really not sure. I didn't I didn't try it that hard because it was it runs everything so well. The problem is um, games are still so graphically intensive these days that one 970 will max everything out at 1080. But if you really want two times, three times, four times that resolution, you're going to need more. Uh, the 980, way more expensive for 15 to 20% uh, improvement. Didn't seem like the best way to spend my money. Um, the the Titan, uh, Titan X, I think is the latest one they called. Again, is kind of like the 980 Extreme. Uh, way more money. Only 20 to 40 percent improvement over the 980. It just seemed, again, like a poor way to distribute the funds. I mean, I I do have a limited supply of money, <laughs> but I I want to buy the best I can to push my games to the limit. Um, so I went with the 90, 970 SLI. I was a little hesitant. Uh, had a lot of problems with the 460s, like I mentioned. Wasn't sure if the 970s would. Ex- exhibit some of those same issues I had those many years ago. Um, in the background, I've had this this uh, benchmark of uh, Tomb Raider. Game came out a few years ago, but it's still a, a great benchmark. Uh, beautiful game. Really pushes a lot of uh, new effects. Tress effects seems to be kind of glitching out there. I'm not, <laughs> I guess that's the the wind that's pushing her hair. But um, anyways, this is actually not this is not 4K. I I think it's it's two and a half K. Um, this game still is is super intense on graphics hardware if you maximize all the options. Um, I don't even think I have the SMMA SSAA times two. Oh yeah, uh, that's the super sampling and aliasing option. I just have FXAA, which I usually use if I'm going to use DSR. Uh, I think this is 2.5. It's what I normally run. Uh, as you can see, average right around 60. Uh, that sweet spot I'm looking for. Um, I tried it at 4K, it really takes a dive, it goes down to like 5, but honestly, uh, what I'm really trying to express here is the, the smoothness. All my issues with um, micro stuttering, honestly, have been gone. If, Of course, it's still SLI. There are games that don't have profiles, um, there are games that just don't really support it well. The developer didn't put in the time, NVIDIA didn't put in the time, I, I don't know. But there will always be a few games where it just doesn't work great. The games it does work well, uh, I would say there are much more than there used to be. Um, there have only been a handful that haven't worked, and and the ones that do work amazing. It really it pushes both cards to the limit, really just really gets you a crap load of graphical processing power um, without any of the issues that I used to see. I don't see uh, stutters, I don't really see any more problems than I have with one card. It's a lot just like I plug it in, I, I play games, I try not to worry about it. If I ever have a problem, it's easy to turn off in the NVIDIA control panel um, for that game. Save that, say like, hey, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, for instance, doesn't work well. I'm hoping the DirectX 11 version, which is coming out soon, does, but we'll see. So uh, I've turned that off for that game. It's not a big deal. Um, but oh my gosh, Elder Scrolls Online looks beautiful works amazing tomb raider i had great experiences with uh i played a little bit of titanfall just to see what i could do with it oh it was it, it's like a new game when you just put that thing at 4k with with dsr i don't actually have a 4k monitor um i'm trying to remember some of the other games i've been playing recently but uh, alien isolation if you thought that game was beautiful before as soon as you clean up all those edges with some dsr it's it's really amazing i highly recommend it so um Point is, I, I've been having a great experience with SLI. Uh, I don't know if that's the 900 series in, in general they put more time into, um, or just their improvements with, with coding of how SLI works in general. I, I don't know. Uh, but either way, they've really made a lot of great leaps. Um, totally makes me happy with my purchase. Uh, I'm definitely going to be hanging on to both of those for a long time. I can't see anything struggling with it anytime soon. Um, but yeah, uh, might put out a few more benchmarks. We'll see. Nobody, I mean, I wasn't really doing this for like a 
benching my system kind of thing. Just wanted to share my experiences with it and uh, SLI in general, DSR. I do encourage you to look up if you're interested in a GTX 970. Um, definitely look up the issues with the video RAM. I mean, if you just Google GTX 970 uh, VRAM, I guarantee you it'll be one of the top five posts. Um, basically, some legal issues about whether or not the four gigabytes of VRAM that they specified are four gigabytes of the same kind of RAM. I'm not going to get into technical details. It's a, a lot of it's over my head and. I don't think I do a good job explaining it, but they are amazing cards. Uh, I do support support the cards as one of the best cards you can buy right now uh, for your money. And two of them seems to be e equally awesome, if not better. So uh, yeah, um, plan to do more videos like this, just kind of discussing hardware, new hardware coming out, my thoughts on it. I love PC hardware. Uh, I've been building my own computers for a long time really enjoy putting it together so I wanted to share my thoughts with what I've what I've bought recently what I used to own what I what I wish I could buy and just don't have the money for um, but figure I'd start here I'm not sure what I'll call these segments yet I don't have anything but like a goofy name so definitely look back uh, like this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe um, got a bunch of videos that uh, of just me playing through games with myself um, my girlfriend friends just goofing around uh have a lot of fun doing them so please check them out and uh thanks for watching uh leave me in the comments if you have any questions um things you like things you didn't like but uh yeah thanks really 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 let me down let me that was 100 percent your fault how is that my fault you're in so much trouble I'm still just, I'm still fresh.